Okay, howdy guys. Um, I have to uh, shell some hard drives uh, and I thought it might be interesting if I filmed it so other people could see what what's involved. Um, at the moment, the cheapest way to get four terabyte hard drives is as external drives and so I've gone and bought these Western Digital MyBook um, four terabyte USB 3 hard drives and I might use the enclosures later because I'm going to be uh, swapping some drives out of my uh, storage server. Okay, so get to, get to it and you get it out it looks like this. It's all very very simple. It's some clips and a couple of screws. Um, now I am a bit limited on tools at the moment. I'm moving house um, and so some of them aren't here anymore but it should be just a matter of getting something sharp underneath this and being able to pry it open. And if that doesn't work, that's when we get the heavy artillery. Once we get it pried, Oh, now, the other thing people should be aware of is I'm filming this uh, with a head-mounted camera, which does actually make it a little bit difficult for me to get in close and see exactly what I'm doing. So if I look like I'm massacring it, um, it's because I am. <laughs> the thing is, is, I don't care about the drives. I only care about the... I don't care about the cases, I only care about the drives inside. Alright, once you get that in, once you get it cracked open, it's just a matter of running around and each of the clips should come apart relatively easily. You do that all down each side. Now here's the trick of it, is you've got to do it on each side here. Um, if you're lucky, it could slide out a little bit here. Now, if you are buying new drives and you plan on shelling them, like that. Um, if you are buying new drives and you think and you're planning on shelling them, one thing I always recommend, and I think I broke a little bit, whoops, um, is that you do a very very thorough, I'm talking extended test um, of the drive before you shell it, because when you shell it, you are voiding your warranty technically. Um, now you will notice that it was a Western Digital. Uh, external hard drive but inside is a Hitachi and that's because in March of 2012 Western Digital bought out Hitachi and from the looks of it these were manufactured well this was manufactured in August 2012 so um, it looks like they're using up all their Hitachi 4 terabyte drive stock um, before they uh, it's just very strange to find a external drive made by a manufacturer with a different pro a manufacturer that makes external hard drives um, with a different brand hard drive inside their externals. Um, so if we turn it over the back, we have the controller here um, that we can see, and then this little bit of plastic actually is the hard drive activity um, plastic, so the light goes from there and shows it so you can see it at the front, so you can just pull that out of the circuitry, that's not a big deal. Um, and then these are just rubber mounts, and so it's really just a matter of pressing and then the whole thing just pops out, like so. Now, uh, what we need now is a screwdriver, and this is the bit where it's going to get interesting because I don't actually have a screwdriver, not a good one anyway. Uh, hopefully that will be all right um, to undo this with. And oh, come on, yes. And so you remove that, that's just a secure bracket to make sure that you don't break the USB plug. So that one there. And that 
on there. Now, one thing I have noticed with these drives um, is that there is actually a firmware update out for them. And I always recommend that whenever you buy a new hard drive, people always forget about the firmware updates. But when it comes to your data, you can never be too safe. And so whenever you get a new drive, make sure it's always running the latest firmware. But there it is, a Hitachi 4 terabyte drive pulled out of a Western Digital. Um, if I've got time, I might even make a video about how to do the reverse and put one back in. Um, I've done this with another drive that doesn't have these little bits. Um, and so you actually have to cut them out of the foam, which is a little bit annoying, but um, yeah, there we are. Thanks guys.